Um, so basically what is happening here, and this is where it becomes slightly similar to uh, what we spoke about in the Aplysia example, is that uh, when you look at the synapses that you have here between the CA3 and CA1 neurons in uh, the hippocampus is that basically you have release of uh, glutamate. Glutamate binds to essentially two different receptors. There's one more, but it's not really important here. One of them is an NMDA receptor. Another one is the AMPA receptor. The AMPA receptor is a very ordinary ion channel. So it's sodium, uh, which is running into the cell, causing a depolarization. This is what will happen when you have sort of the first activation, and if you have activation at long intervals, you will have this AMPA receptor uh, being activated. The NMDA receptor is normally closed, uh, so mainly because there is a magnesium uh, molecule which is blocking the receptor. So under normal circumstances, you only have a normal EPSP caused by sodium flowing into the cell. Now, if you then have a prior depolarization, so if you activate the neuron once and then do it once again right afterwards, what you will have is that first you have a depolarization caused by the AMPA channel. And because of that depolarization, magnesium will be removed from the NMDA channel by that first depolarization. So it's simply a voltage-dependent mechanism that magnesium is sort of expelled because of the depolarization that takes place. And therefore, when you give the second stimulus, the NMDA channel will now be available, and you can have calcium flowing in through that channel. So you have opening of calcium channels, and that calcium is actually what is responsible for signaling the long-term potentiation. So therefore, this uh, concurrent uh, high-frequency stimulation will be inducing uh, LTP. Uh, so calcium binds to uh, several different uh, mechanisms or, or secondary messengers. So it's basically activation of uh, calcium calmodulin kinase 2, it's protein kinase C, which is being uh, activated, which leads to phosphorylation of various substrates. And again, there are short-term changes and there are long-term changes. So some of these substrates are being transported to the nucleus, causing various uh, proteins to be uh, transcribed, leading to changes in various receptors and outgrowth of uh, connections. There are also, here is a question mark, but forget about the question mark. This has been shown now that there is also retrograde signaling to the presynaptic terminal. So there are also changes at the presynaptic terminal, very much similar to what has been shown in the aplysia. So again, cyclic AMP and changes in uh, the number of synapses, etc., etc. We know some of these retrograde factors, one of them is uh, NO, uh, which is a gas which is uh, uh, readily diffusible and can spread from this area to this area or from that area to that area and easily uh, signal changes at both the pre- and the postsynaptic level. This naturally uh, leads to uh, also changes uh, uh, both at uh, the long short term and the long term. So when we have LTB being induced, you can see here before uh, LTP is being induced and after LTP you have outgrowth of uh, spines and establishment of uh, new synaptic uh, uh, connections. I showed you some of that also last time when you saw this more video showing uh, these connections. Uh, it's also possible to uh, connect this to uh, the navigation abilities or the navigation disabilities, you could say, in uh, uh, rats. So I showed last time how rats who have lesions of the hippocampus are less good at finding their way in the Morris maze. This is uh, slightly different. 
if you have rats which have a mutation so that the NMDA receptor is not functioning, so that they cannot have the calcium flowing into the cell, you cannot see the LTP. So you cannot induce LTP because there are no NMDA receptors available and you don't get any calcium uh, into the cell. In the same rats, you also don't see establishment of these place cells when the rat is swimming in the Morris maze and establishing where the platform is. Uh, so these rats basically don't learn where to find the platform. They don't establish the place cells. So there is a very good connection between the molecular changes, the NMDA receptors, the calcium flowing in, and their uh, behavior.